Alice Little. As a quick clarification before people start to think I'm some kind of lolly, ew by the way, Alice Little is an adult throughout the entire series. In the original game, she is 18, as in Madness Returns, she's 19, and in Other Lands, she's 20. But for this episode, I will be focusing on the Madness Returns version, as not only is that the one I'm the most familiar with, but it's also easier to admire her design with the more detailed model. Alice is a troubled girl, as she lost her family in a house fire at a young age. After this, she was taken to the Rutledge Asylum, where she had to fight her inner demons, literally, as her Wonderland was corrupted by the event. In Madness Returns, she's out of the asylum, but still in therapy. Despite how troubled she is, American McKee has specified that Alice is not insane, nor is she uncaring. She's had an awful past, losing her family, and lives in a world that doesn't know how to help her, so she had to become more independent. Some scenes may make her seem inconsiderate, when in truth she's more apathetic. She's mainly represented in the traditional blue dress that many may associate with Disney's variation of the character, but her black hair and dark shadows around her eyes make it clear she's anything but. In the original game, her hair was brown, but I feel as if black works better for her personality and setting the contrast between a cute, family-friendly Wonderland and American McGee's version. In Madness Returns, Alice has multiple dresses that can change depending on her location. My personal favorite is the steam dress, which you get while inside the Hatter's domain. It complements her style and makes her look the hottest. 